Hello, in this video I'm going to show you what Material U will look like on your Chromebook. Now it's not available at the moment. If you're on the normal standard channel, you'll most likely start to see that you'll get an update to Chrome OS 110.110 and that should be happening in the next few days. But obviously all Chromebooks are different so just be a bit patient if you haven't got that yet. But I'm going to show you this on Chrome OS 111. So it's not available yet. And it still won't be available on Chrome OS 111 unless you enable a flag. So I'll show you the flag that I enabled. So you won't be able to use it yet, but in a month from now, or roughly a month from now, when we get Chrome OS 111, you can enable this flag and have a little bit of a mess around. I'll show you what it looks like. If you haven't heard of the serial you before, it's the same settings that you get on your Android phone. So it's the same sort of settings and it, it, it just looks nicer, the type of settings and how you can interact with those settings to get it set up just how you want it to be. One thing to bear in mind before I do show you it, do remember that this is just at present not released. So I'm sure it's going to be improved a lot before it is released because there is a lot to be improved on. Uh, but at the moment, I'll show you what it looks like at the moment. So let me just... Um, go for doing that now so here we go then so on here if we go down here to your settings and this is what material you will look like as you can see it's a totally different look to how the settings used to look I love material you I hope you do as well but you can just see it looks nicer on here down here you've got the settings if you click on there at the moment that just goes to normal settings which is similar to what happens on your mobile phone but if you go to the settings again down here you can see here you've got the brightness so you can just go like that and turn the dimness of your display down so that's quite easily accessible here you've got your volume which is nice so you can turn the volume up and down but one thing i didn't really like on here and hopefully they will improve it here is how you mute the speakers. So say if you've got listening to YouTube and someone phones you, you want to quickly mute the speakers, you press mute and that's done. Now, personally speaking, what I would like to see when you unmute, it goes back to the volume it was on. But when you click on that, nothing happens. It doesn't unmute it. So that's fair enough. I thought, okay, if I press volume once, hopefully it would go back to where it was. But it doesn't, it goes right back down to the bottom. So it's not a massive thing, but it does mean you'd have to then go and find the volume setting that you had it as. So I'm hoping that will be improved in the future because when you mute something, you should just be able to unmute it again and it goes back to the volume was on. Or if not, when you press volume up, it goes back to where you were rather than starting right at the bottom again. So hopefully that will be improved. But you can see here, you've got the settings, you've got your Wi Fi settings there. You've got screen capture, so you can quickly do a screen capture if you want to, like that. So you could do a photo or you could do a video. So that's all cool. I'll just escape out of there. Um, and then you've got do not disturb. I quite like that being there as well. Just click on there and you won't get any disturb app notifications, stuff like that. And then you've got cast screen devices available. I don't know how many devices I've got on, but here we go. So I've got living room display and living room TV. So I've cast to them. Um, there's no other option at the moment where there's an extra page. And this is in beta mode. One thing I did also notice is the power button there looks like it's going to switch off if you press it. Luckily, it doesn't. So if you click on that, although it does say shut down, so maybe they should change that from shut down to power options or something like that because that would suggest it's going to shut down so when you click on there it then gives you the power up option the restart option the sign out option if you want to sign out and log in with another user or the lock screen option as well so that's nice i do like that uh, but they do need to maybe make people not think that if they press that it's going to power off and one way of doing that is get rid of that shut down little text that comes up um, now, the one thing also is that there's no way from here, and I, this is beta mode, so we, I'm sure we'll get it in the future. There's no way of changing these colors at the moment. Um, the only way you can make this slightly different, for example, is if we went to do set wallpaper and we did the dark theme, then it would obviously then 
look a little different in dark theme. Again, this perhaps needs looking at because I don't know if that blue, although I love the color blue, um, I don't know if it's dark enough for that white text. So there is still things that needs to be improved because that would be difficult for someone to be able to read, uh, see that text. But it is good. I do like Material U. What we do need is a little bit more than what it's got at the moment, um, which I'm sure we'll get. For example, on my phone, I've just upgraded my phone to, um, let me just have a look here, to Android 13. Um, so on here, if we take a look at on how this looks, you can see you've got that there, but then you can scroll across and it will give you other options as well. I'd like to see that on there as well. But the one thing I love about Android on your phone is you've got these options here, but if you press that little pencil there, it gives you lots of other options you can choose from like that and you simply drag them up to up here and then they're there so for example if i get alarm just drag that up to there and then go back from edit you'll see that i've now got that alarm function as well and you can continue doing that for as much as you want so this is something we need to see and as you can see where it's blue on here this is green because you've got the ability to change the colors on your Android phone and we should be getting more colors in the future on your Android phone. So there are quite a few things to see. As you can see, if we quickly look at this difference here, where you've got the nice blue, because that white text doesn't look good on my phone, you can see with the green, it's used black. So it's about changing it to suit. I don't know if it changed that because we changed from dark theme. Let's just have a look. If we go back to light theme, what colors are showing then? Yeah, so it used black on the light theme and it's changed it to white on the dark theme, but it just didn't look you know, good enough to be able to visually see. But I do like it, I hope you do. I appreciate some people may not like Material U, but I do think it looks nicer. And it's not just about looking nicer, I think it will make it easier in the future. And the one thing which is nice is you can see now it's using a bigger window here or a dialogue box, whatever you want to call this here for your settings. And that is also used on the calendar. So if you click on the calendar, the calendar I think has got slightly wider as well. So it is nice, I do like it. Bear in mind it is beta. We don't know when it's gonna come onto the stable channel. By the time it has come onto the stable channel, I really hope we do see things which makes it very clear on how you can change the colors, for example, and also how you can have extra features as well that you want to add. But for now, it, it's fine, and this is what will be coming in the future. So I'll quickly show you the flag that I use, and bear in mind, this won't be available, I don't think, and I don't, it won't be, because I've tried it on um, Stable Channel 110, and it didn't work. But when your Chromebook has updated to 111, if you do want to have a mess about, because I don't think it would be available as standard by then, um, you can do the flag. So if you go to Chrome, colon, forward slash, forward slash, and then flags, and it's this flag here. As you can see, I've enabled it. Quick settings revamp, enable QS UI revamp with separated message center Chrome OS and it is hash qs hyphen revamp so that's the one you're going to do but as i says i don't think that will work until you are using chrome os 111 so i hope you like this video if you did please like below and subscribe to the channel for future videos and thanks for watching